Hi guys, welcome to the session. I am Rahul from Team Cloudy ML, and uh, today we are going to cover list in Python. So let's get started. So what is a list? First of all, lists are ordered and mutable collection of object in Python. So what does that mean? Let's just see with an example. Let's say I have a list A. So we, we keep list like uh, the symbol of list is this square bracket. And in this square bracket, we will have objects collection of objects and here uh, collection of objects can be of same data type we have covered this like uh, different types of data types integer float strings boolean so i can have similar also and different also let me just show you first a very simple like simple uh, i have the this four integers in my list and uh, let's say i print a so here you can see that I have a list of same data type. And when I print this, it shows like this. Similarly, I can have a, a list of different data types. Let's say one string, one integer, one float, and one Boolean. So I can also store uh, different data types in my list. So this is how we assign a list of same data type and here we assigned a list of different data types. I can also do one thing like uh, I don't I don't keep anything in my list and simply print it. You can keep your you can keep your uh, list uh, empty also. So this is also one way of assigning a list and then you can add it. Uh, elements into the list you can add elements into the list and you can here you can see that i have an empty list here let's just say i copy this code and paste this here so now let's say you would like to get element cloudy ml so just like we have seen how to uh, how to access any element from a string the same way we can access element from the list so for example i want cloud dml and cloud dml is at index zero i can simply call print a zero now you can similarly access uh, uh, let's say i want float value and float value is at index two Float values at index 2, cloud ML at 0, 1 is uh, at 1, 5.4 is at 2, and true is at 3. Similarly, you can print Boolean value from your list, which is at index 3. So this is how we can access elements from a list. Now, let's say you would like to get a slice of this list. Now, to make it uh, look more interesting let me add some more element here <clears throat> mm, let's say python some languages java ruby now i have a big list and let's say i would like to get uh, uh, python java and ruby so i can do negative indexing we know that the last uh, element is at index minus one if you don't know, just remember that uh, in this, like you can access elements from left to right or right to left. From left to right, you need to go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the, from the last, from right to left, you need minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and minus 4, like this. So I want last three elements. I can say minus 1. I want minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3. Now we have, uh, we have seen that uh, we need to pass three things in this start from where you want to start where you want to stop and what is the step you want so i want to start at minus one i want to go up to python which is minus three so for that i need a step of minus one you need negative stepping so now i want to go up to minus three 
so this is how you can get access of okay uh the main thing is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so last uh, stop stop element is not considered so you need to take extra minus 4 then you will get all three languages ruby java python now if you want python java ruby uh if you want python java java ruby what you can do is you can start from minus 3 and then say i want to go up to the end and i want a uh, space of 1 i want a step of 1 so 1 so is by default so you don't need to pass anything you can simply do it like this and you will get python java ruby so this is how uh actually this is by default start is by default 0 and step is by default 1 so this is how you can access elements from this let me give you one more example let's say i want uh i want to reverse this list using indexing what i can do reversing you want to uh start from minus 1 and you want to go up to the end and you want a step of minus 1 because you want to go reverse and this in this way you can reverse your entire list you can see that ruby java python 054 and all like this so this is about uh, indexing in list and uh, and slicing in list actually not in indexing indexing was simple so this is uh, if you know like this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on and from the last is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 like this if you know this you can get any part of it you must know this also like how do which which number you need to pass start stop step start from where and start is by default is zero step is by default one you can do negative indexing also if you know this you can play with it and you can extract anything anything from this list now uh let's learn about methods in list let me just copy this list again let me just copy this list again and then we will see methods in list now to understand how many methods you have in list uh just say a dot and you will see that all the list method will show you like this these are the methods in list now if you want to know you just uh, hover your mouse on it and it will show you it will show you uh, about this method now the main thing here is uh, uh let's say you still don't know about uh this list and you would like to know if you would like to know about this the one thing you can do is instead of print you can simply uh call help on it and uh, you you can see the method about append for example append method of built in list instance append object to the end of the list if i if i pass anything using append it will uh add at the end of this list so this is one way to know about uh, documentation another is simple very simple you just uh, uh you just google over it you just google it like uh, list methods in python and uh, you can see all the methods with uh, description of it and if you click on any method you can see uh, with an example this is other way of knowing uh, list methods you don't need to memorize it with practice it will all automatically come into your mind now let's just play with it uh let's just say i a dot append and i would like to append uh, data science string and just run this and print a and you can see that data science has been appended at the end no matter what you pass here it will be appended at the end let's say this time i pass a list of uh, let's say numpy uh let's say pandas this time i'm passing a list of strings into a list now let's just again uh print a now here you can see that your list has been appended here your list has been appended into a list so now kind of you have list of uh list of elements and list also 
so this is about append method now let's just say another method uh let's say a dot let's check now this time what i'm going to use is pop now i'm not passing anything in pop and i'm just running this cell and then and you can see that what it did it popped the last element in my list which is a list of strings and now if i print a here again now uh, I have up to the data science. So if I do it again, it will pop out data science. And then if I, again, I do it, it will pop Ruby, Java, Python. It will, without passing any index here, normally you pass index here, that which index element you would like to take out from the list. So if I don't pass it, it will do it by default, minus one, minus one, minus one, which is the last element. Now, let me just show you one more, a dot pop here. And then I run it. So you can see now it popped out uh, data science. And if I print A again, here you need to understand one thing is like uh, when I said in the beginning list are uh, ordered. Ordered means you see every time I define A, uh, it print my list in the same order. If I define a lay, uh, if I define a list, it print everything in the same order, you see? So this means lists are ordered. And what does the mean of mutability? That I can play with it. I can append, I can pop element, I can do all these kind of thing. Now let's say I would like to pop out the first element cloudy ML. So I can say you know, pop zero and it will pop out uh, cloudy ML. And now if I print A, now my first element is gone from the list. So uh, pop takes indexing, uh, it takes index of the element you would like to remove. Now uh, let's just sit, check one more uh, method which is insert and insert it takes two elements, position and element. So uh, let's say I would like to insert at zeroth index. And I would like to insert uh, welcome to India. Now let's just see. Okay, now just print A. Now if I check, you can see that welcome to India is at zero index. So this is how you can check any method on list and, uh, and use it uh, for your uh, work or according to your need. Now the main thing is, you can say, have I memorized all of it? No, I haven't memorized all of it. I just know some of the methods here I have used a lot. And every time I just Google it also. So you don't need to memorize all of it like you are memorizing uh, every day. Now let's just check this method, reverse method. What it does, reverse the order. And you just need to call it like this. To see here, they have shown an example also. Now let's just say I say a dot reverse and I just run it. And here you can see that, uh, oh, I need to maybe, uh, let's just print a, uh, what happens. Okay, now it has, it has reversed all the elements. You can see that, welcome to India, India is at the last. This is how uh, these methods work. Let's just check uh, more, one more method. Let's just check sort now. For sorting, we should take a number for more clarity actually. Uh, so let's just say I define uh, uh, an another array and I say like this. Okay. So I have defined uh, for sorting to show you sorting method. I have defined a list of number. It's more easy to see uh, this. Let's say a dot sort. Okay. Let's just say a dot sort and then I print a. Normally, since uh, normally since uh, a is an ordered collection of objects, since it's a list, let me show you. Right now, a is this. Now, if I run this, now order is this. So you can see that how a dot sort worked it out. To avoid confusion, um, let me just keep it in another cell. Let me run this again, run this again, run this again. 
now you can see the difference it's it's not sorted it's as it is ordered because i have defined it like this and now it's like this it is ordered it's there's no difference now when i call sort method and then i print it again it's all sorted 0 1 2 3 5 7 9 so just uh, i will say that try some methods from here uh by yourself so that you can understand how to uh, understand it by googling of by understanding the documentation how to apply it it will give you confidence so guys this is uh, it about this session if you like this please give a thumbs up subscribe our channel share it with others and comment how uh, how was uh, my explanation to you uh, so that i i need to improve more or slow it down i will do it thank you guys mm -hmm.